Welcome to the Coding Craft Channel, your one-stop shop for everything coding, engineering, and data science. Please subscribe. Hey everybody, I'm about to start an Arduino series on our Coding Craft Channel, so no way better to start than uh, doing an unboxing of the Arduino board I ordered. So I just got this in the mail today. I ordered the Arduino Uno through R3, so it's the revision three of the board. And then they do not supply the USB cable type B, so make sure that you buy one. I like Amazon Basics, it's cheap and they have long cables. So go ahead and unbox yours. So inside you have your board and you'll have two pamphlets. I think there's, yeah, stickers. So here's some stickers you can attach to whatever you want. And then a little intro pamphlet. Uh, I don't really think you need this. And here's the board. It comes with a plastic mount. Um, the earlier revisions did not have this, so it's really nice. Um, I'm assuming they did it so you don't accidentally short something when it's powered on and you're working with Arduino projects. And it does come with little mounting screws so you can mount it to this and it won't separate. <clears throat> Let's run over some of the basic pins. So this is the Arduino Uno Rev3 board. This is your USB power supply and it also is the way that you upload your programs to the Arduino. Here is the power supply that you can, it doesn't come with it, you have to buy it separate, but you can run it off batteries or a wall outlet or whatever. This is a, I believe the Arduino runs off anything from five to 20 volts. It can downgrade it, but I think it expects five volts. Let's zoom in on this so you can kind of see it. So down here you have all of our analog pins, the A0 to A5. Over here you have your ground pins, your 3.3 volt, volts power supply, and your five volt power supply. Here is your voltage in, the VIN. So if you wanted to power the board through like a breadboard or another power supply that's not through here or the USB, um, it accepts anything from six to 20 volts, if I remember right from the data sheet. And this is a little power light here. On top you have your digital IO pins. They call them GPIO, general, um, it's your general programming input output pins. <clears throat> here is the receive and transmit LEDs. This LED up here is a built-in LED that you can program. And, um, I don't know the pin off the top of my head, but you don't have to add an LED separately. And then some of these digital pins up here have pulse width modulation capability. They're denoted with a little tilde, so all those pins right there. So pretty lightweight board, not a lot to it. It's their Uno, it's the small version, but it can do pretty much anything you want it to do. Um, next couple of videos, we'll uh, start diving into this and programming some lights and adding motors and things like that. 